Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about Shopify. Now, I've been working on Shopify and testing and messing around with stuff for quite some time now, and we're about to the stage to go live, and I just wanted to address some of the key factors and things that can be really helpful with Shopify for those of you who don't have a clue what Shopify is. Even if you've used it before, there's a lot of things many people aren't totally familiar with. Let's hop over to the screen and take a look at some of the inside workings of Shopify right now. So here's the main Shopify page. Now I've got my personal information covered up as well as my store name. It's not ready to go at this moment. So we're still testing and doing some other things, changing some settings and things along that line. Now when you first log in, this is the page basically you see. Now I've added things since I've got the account. Basically you start off with just your online store. Over here on the left, you'll see sales channels. Again, online store is all that's included with it. And then you have to download or install apps from an app store that can add other features to this. Now there's an Amazon channel and an eBay channel, Facebook channel, Facebook shop, Instagram, and a buy button as well are the ones as of right now that I have added onto this. Now every listing in your Shopify store itself can be broadcast to all of these other sites or platforms readily and they will sync up as long as you do it through the channel here but your items have to start or originate in Shopify now if your items are on another site right now there's other factors that you have to do but if you're just starting off and you start off straight from Shopify it's the easiest way to do it because you can broadcast it out now with Shopify right this very second, there is a 90 day free trial going on right this very second with Shopify. I did sign up with that, so you've got three months to play around with this for free. After that, they've got options that have pretty much basically what you need for around 30 bucks a month to keep that open. Of course, you pay you know a fee on what sells. The fee breakdowns are in there too, which you can see before you sign up. Now, depending on the Shopify level that you take, your fees will be different. If you buy a better version of it, a higher level, your fees will be less. The lower the level, the more the fees will be, plus a $0.30 cent per transaction fee. So in all honesty, there isn't much difference other than the fact that you just pay a processing fee, basically, like a money collection fee on it, versus a final value fee like you would on eBay. So it's a little different setup. Now, one of the key features, as I said, is that you can propagate your one listing, just type in one single listing, and you can propagate it to multiple platforms just by clicking a button. Now, here is one of my Shopify pages of my items on Shopify. This is another reason why I've talked about having white backgrounds and making sure you have the best images. These were all imported from eBay, literally. So now I own those listings. These are the exact same ones that appear on eBay and that will be synced from here to eBay. So if they sell on one platform, they will be synced up and be removed from the other sites through Shopify. Now I did say there are some other aspects of it if let's say your items are already on a platform. If your items are on a platform, you have to either pay for a syncing service. Again, you go to an app store, which we'll show you in a minute. And there's multiple services that you can use to sync these items. Now, the eBay channel, I would have assumed, would have done that for you. But that's not literally how it works because the API that eBay wrote to add that to Shopify, trying to get more business, isn't a full-featured API. Now, a good example of this is you can't make an offer if you're using eBay's provided channel. Again, eBay is working with Shopify to have this channel on Shopify, but they have changed the API. So nowadays you can't make an offer through that. You can't go and address it. Anything that was centered or, or sent up or synced before with the old API won't sync with the new API. So eBay has pretty much sunk all kinds of people on Shopify 
no service, no, no nothing because they can't do it. The API as well says that you have to have PayPal for that to be usable in the first place. So anybody going to manage payments from what eBay's own API says in Shopify can't use the eBay channel unless for some odd reason eBay is going to let you bypass it because of another site. I don't see it happening, but that's the way I see it here. Now there's workarounds. If you go to the App Store, there's many different workarounds you can get. Now, as I said, if you have your listings in eBay now and you want to bring them into Shopify, there are options to do that. eBay, uh, in fact, there's Importer. There's only a few, but they do work for the most part. Now, I've used one of them myself. I'm not going to tell you which one. I'll let you play around with that. And it imported my listings, but didn't import the descriptions. After digging around and going back and forth with their developers, it appears to be an issue with eBay that's dumped in a bunch of junk HTML in my description boxes in thousands of my listings. I don't use a template, so it's not tied to anything that I have done. And it sure enough does show up on eBay, these issues. So I couldn't deal with the loss of all the data on a lot of my listings. So we've had to seek other ways to do this. Now, again, there's many different options here. The best one that I have found and one that we are uh, investigating and using as of right now, we've been testing it. We want to test it for a week or two beforehand is eBay Connect, which is by Ink Frog. Now, I'm not a big fan on spending money. It doesn't have the best ratings on it, but I have looked into it, and it is the best option from what I see. So depending on what you want to do, Ink Frog is another option. Now, with Ink Frog, basically, you link your eBay account with Ink Frog, and then it's able to do anything from Ink Frog and Shopify in your eBay store. From there, you have an option for apps, to actually import all of your items from eBay into your Shopify store. So now you've got Shopify and eBay synced. InkFrog also has a way to sync, again, another application through InkFrog, no extra fees, it's all included at their monthly rate. You'll be able to import or sync all of your Amazon items. So you can sync your Amazon items and actually export your Shopify eBay items to Amazon. So now with InkFrog, you've got eBay, Amazon, and Shopify. So that gives you three right off the bat. Now you can expand that as well by using the channels on Shopify. And again, let's pop back over here. You can use the channels from your Shopify itself and then propagate from Shopify to Instagram, Facebook, the Facebook place itself, and you can also use the buy button. Now a great feature on here is a buy button app. Now what the buy button app does is allows you to add a buy button anywhere. So basically, if you're doing a blog post or you've got your own website and you want to advertise something, you can literally drop a buy button to buy whatever you've got in there, you know, right there on the page with checkout and everything. They don't even have to leave. Now, you can drop the buy button all over the place. Instagram, apparently, Facebook as well, blog posts and all over. So that's another option to get your items out there. So again, you have to do this differently depending on where you're starting off in your business. Now, if you're just starting off, Shopify is an extra fee. InkFrog is another extra fee. You can get a decent level on Shopify for 30 bucks a month and that is it, other than the fees you pay when something sells. Now for InkFrog, you can get a $30 option with unlimited listings, which is the option that we are going with with InkFrog. Many other options, as I said, once you get the ink frog part, if that's the way you're doing it, you can import your listings anytime. It will sync up with them every so many minutes and sync whatever information you technically want it to do. So again, that's the breakdown on this. We have added in Amazon and eBay and Shopify together, as I said, which syncs. And then from the Shopify online store, we have Instagram, Facebook, and we use the buy button as well. So it gives you tons of different options. Now, we're going to be adding Etsy on here, Walmart as well, and a couple other platforms which are available through Shopify. As I said, there's apps for everything. So there's an app for pretty much anything. A lot of the apps are free. A bunch of them, though, will charge you a fee per month. 
Some of them you can just pay a fee to import, export, a one-time fee, uh, and then leave it with that and not deal with them again. So you don't have to pay for certain services if that's not what you want. Many of them do have a free option, so you can at least test them out and see if they work. In all honesty, so far, Shopify has blown away all the other third-party apps like Cellbrite and e-commerce Dash and all the other ones that we have played with through ease so far, especially with the importing and exporting of listings from, say, eBay to Shopify, from Shopify to Amazon or any other platforms. We've been testing listings left and right, checking, reassorting, reshifting in, and then fixing issues as they arise and then contacting support to get everything fixed. You're going from different categories on, say, eBay to different categories on Amazon, and that's where the issues do arise. So there is going to be some frustration with doing this. There's going to be a lot of things that don't go right, such as the eBay API for eBay's own channel is totally screwed up, and that's eBay's own fault. So it just depends on what you're doing. There are other ways around it. As I said, there are services that will cost you, depending on how many listings you have up, that will sync your current eBay site. You don't have to close it down or anything else like that with your Shopify store. With Inkfrog, though, you don't have to mess with that. Now, I know if people have said Inkfrog posts the note that says Inkfrog on every one of your listings. That was a big drawback to a lot of people that complained about it. But there's a button you can use to turn that off from your listings so they won't show up with anything that says Inkfrog on them as well. Now, with eBay's channel, as I said, eBay's channel used to allow you to do best offers and change things and do all kinds of other things as well. But they, have, as I said, have changed the API. I investigated it. I knew it worked. And then they have changed it since I looked into it and as I said we have thousands of items already in Shopify that we've been working on for quite some time it's essential to have great images again some of the items that I have that aren't up to par I can't broadcast out to other sites so we are selectively broadcasting to Amazon and other platforms as we go through them so this is going to take you a lot of time hours upon hours to do the switch if you've got as many items as we do if you don't have a ton of items it shouldn't be much of an issue whatsoever hopefully this is a little bit of an eye-opener this is the best and only real way I know to own your listings I get asked all the time how the heck can you own your own listings you import them into Shopify, and then if something happens to eBay and eBay goes out of business, all of those listings are still in Shopify. I own them. I don't have to take photos again. I don't have to type out titles. I don't have to figure out prices again. All of that information is in Shopify directly from eBay. And as you can see, they all pop up. I've got pages upon pages, 25,000 or so individual items that we have uploaded so far. So it's a great way to gain more exposure. Again, I know people say you don't really need more exposure, but if you can have your items instead of just being on one site, on seven or eight sites, the exact same items, and still be able to monitor and have it auto-sync your inventory, you have almost nothing to lose especially when you consider the cost. For me to do all of this basically here is about 60 extra dollars a month in fees for my Ink Frog $30 and for my Shopify as of now $30. If this grows better, I can up my level on Shopify and lower the fees I will pay as well. So there's many different options. This one is honestly the most user-friendly I have seen. Again, Shopify is the best one so far I have looked into. Now the fees I quote are for my level of store. You may not even have to pay half of that depending on how many listings you want to do this with. And from this point too, I can just create my listings in Inkfrog and it will propagate them out everywhere else. So all the options are there. You just have to play around with it until you understand how everything works, just like eBay. Well, there we are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
It's a week of awesome excitement as Jace and the Lightning League face the forces of evil from every corner of the universe and the ferocious powers of the galaxy's most menacing magicians. There's danger at every turn as Sawboss unleashes the monster minds for the ultimate victory. Watch as lightning strikes on Jace and the Wheeled Warriors. The excitement continues on the special adventure today at 3.30 on WDZL Channel 39.